For too long, the logistic industry has been defensive or reactive when it comes to sustainability. It was seen as a major problem by operation managers that are facing profitability issues. After six years of conducting re-engineering and optimization projects, I can see many analogies between cost reduction and sustainability. In this video, we will see how to optimize warehouse processes to reduce the footprint of your operations. Let's suppose that you are a logistic continuous improvement engineer in an international fashion group. There are stores all around the world. Stores are delivered from local warehouses. These warehouses are replenished from factories located in Asia. Along the chain, data is created, transmitted and stored in databases. Your team is in charge of implementing initiatives for a sustainability roadmap to reduce the environmental impact of warehousing operations. You want to focus on warehouse consumable usage and reduce the waste generated by goods handling. In the context of logistic operations for retail, you are using consumable and generating waste. For instance, with paper documents, printing purchase order, shipping notice, or documents for custom clearance. Wrapping film during the pallet receiving process. Carton materials can be used to pack items uh, after unit picking. And another wrapping of palletized cartons before loading for shipment. Let's start with pallet receiving. Your procurement team orders products from factories. Factories prepare and ship these orders. They send advanced shipping notice with the details of goods loaded in the shipment. And finally, your warehouse receives the goods. Let's try to understand what will happen. Pallets are unloaded from the trucks on the docks. Receiving documents are printed by your admin team. Pallets are transferred to a staging area where some can be unwrapped for sorting. And these pallets are rewrapped before put away. Our focus will be on these heterogeneous pallets with different items inside. Before put away, you need to depalletize items for sorting. One pallet per escape and you reconstitute these two pallets that will be wrapped before put away. We can save wrapping films and avoid printing documents if we only receive homogeneous pallets. We don't need to remove the film for sorting. And if we can receive result printing, for instance, using serial shipping container code, SSCC, receiving process using RF scan. If you consider the quantity of wrapping film used per pallet, you can reach very high savings if you optimize your inbound flow. We can now move to the outbound flows. If a store orders several items in the system, this order is transferred to the warehouse management system. And operational teams pick the items, pack them and organize the shipment. Let's have a look at the waste generated. Operators are going to pick to picking locations to prepare orders with printing packing list. Then pick items are packed in cartons in the packing area. Cartons are palletized and wrapped with film. And finally your pallet is ready to be loaded. The picking list is document listing the items to take with the right quantity used by operators. A great alternative is to use voice picking system. Connected with your operators and the warehouse management system, it will provide vocal instructions to the operators. You do not need any more to print picking list, and the productivity is improved. 593-1-4271 Let's have a look now at the handling units. Sales units are picked by pieces. These units are stored in boxes. For instance, here, 20 units per box for this example. And these boxes are put on pallets, 50 boxes per pallet here. We can optimize order policy to reduce waste. If you order by full carton instead of pieces, you avoid to point to open cartons and save packing and filling material. If you order by full pallets instead of cartons, 
you do not need wrapping films for outbound pallets. Assuming that you need to prepare by piece, operators take the items from the storage area. They prepare empty cartons and they put these items in cartons. Add filling material and they put the cartons on pallet. Now your goods are ready to be shipped. How can you optimize carton size? Items are collected by unit. Each item dimension is recorded in the master data. Using these dimensions, you can calculate the optimal carton size to reduce the empty volume. You save carton materials, but also you reduce the usage of filling material. We have explored several initiatives that can be assessed. Using a simulation model, for instance, you can estimate the reductions of waste if you use carton size optimization tool, or if you ask your stores to order by full cartons. You should implement sustainability KPIs. For instance, measure the quantity of carton materials per piece out, the quantity of wrapping film per pallet outbound, these initiatives will also help you to reduce your viable cost, so you can fund other sustainable initiatives that would require investment. I hope this video gave you enough insights to convince your management that sustainable logistics can be aligned with your business strategy using simple initiatives. If you have questions, feel free to share them in the comment section.